Is it haram to keep birds and fish as pets? Some scholars say that it is permissible, but I want to be sure because keeping a creature of Allah that was meant to fly in a cage seems sadistic to me, just like the hadith of the woman who imprisoned her cat. Zakaria, first of all, I would like to thank you for asking. It is good always to ask when you are in doubt. The woman you mentioned in the hadith was admitted to hell because not because she kept a kitten, a cat in her house, because she did not feed the cat and she prevented the cat from going out. She locked it in to prevent it from going out and eating from the insects and from whatever is she can find outdoors. This is why she would, was admitted to hell. Keeping a, a bird in a cage, keeping fish in a fish tank, in an aquarium. This is permissible as long as you're feeding it and taking care of it and not torturing it or allowing children to abuse it. This is totally permissible. In Sahih al-Bukhari, Anas ibn Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, had a young brother of four or five years of age. And the Prophet used to visit the house often, and he nicknamed the boy as Aba Umair. And he had a small bird, Nur. And the bird was in a cage in Medina, and the bird died. So the boy was saddened. So the Prophet came, Islam, and he gave his con condolences to the child by joking with him and nicknaming him and saying, Aba Umair, Mada fa'ala nughair? He's saying, oh, Abu Umair, what did the small bird do? And the child would cry and say that the bird died. And the Prophet, I some used to counsel him with, with that. This is totally permissible to have a bird in your house, to have an aquarium in your house. Look at the beautiful fish swimming, putting food for them. It's something that calls you to praise Allah Azza wa Jal.